What's squeaking, rusty hinges? Welcome back to Monkey Boy's Toys, and welcome back to... The Sofa! Thanks very much for joining me again. Here's Robert Monkey to look at. Now, this week I thought it would be interesting to look back over some of the items that I acquired in 2023 uh, and show the ones that I was most excited to get into the collection. So, I guess let's just remove Robert Monkey from the shot. Before we get started, I would just like to have some fun with uh, this helium balloon. I received this for my birthday uh, some time ago um, and it started to deflate now, so I thought we'd have a little bit of fun with the helium. Um, so just give me a moment and I shall inhale the contents of this balloon um, and then hopefully squeak something at you. Give me a second. Okay. I have cut the end of the balloon. I shall now inhale its contents. Transformers, robots in disguise. Autobots wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons. Excellent. Well, that was rather splendid. Now that that important activity has been completed, I shall start grabbing some of the items that I acquired last year, uh, and we can have a look at those together. So give me one second, and I'll be back with some stuff. OK, now... One series of toys that I was very happy to acquire last year were several Playmobil sets. Um, let's just bring one in for you to look at now. Here we have the Scooby-Doo Mystery Mansion playset, um, a massive playset. And I haven't actually showed this on the channel yet, um, but hopefully I will do uh, at some point during 2024. Um, so, so there's that. Let's just remove him. Uh, I also picked up several other vehicle play sets from Playmobil. Here we have the A-Team van. Again, I haven't showed this one on the channel yet, um, but I will build this and, and show this at some point during 2024. Um, I also picked up several other uh, movie properties uh, in terms of uh, vehicles. Here we've got the, the Ecto-1 and the Ecto-1A. Um, this is the Ecto-1 here and the Ecto-1A. Uh, both fantastic vehicles, um, really nicely built, pretty screen accurate, so very happy to have to have these two in the collection. Let's just pop those to the side. Uh, I also picked up the DeLorean. Uh, let's just switch his lights on, there we go. Whoops, I also picked up the DeLorean here uh, and a couple of other Back to the Future sets. And Finally, for the Playmobil section of this video, here is the, the Mystery Machine, uh, another great uh, vehicle. So I've been really impressed with these um, Playmobil vehicles. They really are very cool. Um, I've also got the Ghostbusters Firehouse playset, but I haven't showed that today because it's far too big to get on camera. Um, but again, hopefully I will be showing that at some point during the year. Let's see what else I've got. Okay, the next items that I've got to show you are Motu related. First up, We've got the enormous Snake Mountain playset. Very happy to have this. Um, I was waiting for this to be released for a very long time, as as were we all. Um, but finally, Mattel did release this for us. Now, many of you may think I'm mad, but I probably won't be opening this. I will be leaving this in the box, as I tend to do with most of my playsets. Uh, because I really don't have the room to display them uh, otherwise. Uh, I just stack them up in the boxes. But um, but yes, we've got uh, Snake Mountain here, so this will go uh, nicely with my boxed Castle Grayskull. I suppose I could have just bought the box, really, couldn't I, from somebody uh, and saved myself a lot of money. But um, nevertheless, there's, uh, there's Snake Mountain. Let's just pop that out of the way. I did get quite a lot of Motu things in 2023, um, but this was probably one of my most anticipated. It was the uh, Deluxe Leech figure. Now this has made today's selection um, purely because I waited so long to get this. Um, there were some real troubles um, getting it into the into the country, and this was on pre-order for about a year. Um, so I did wait an awfully long time to get this, and I'm very happy to have Leech in the collection. So, so that's why it's made the made the cut today. We've got Leech there. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we've got. Um, apologies for the lack of sofa in this shot, but I'm not picking this lot up and moving it to the sofa. Um, this was the next uh, collection that I was very pleased to get last year, and that was the real Ghostbusters uh, core characters. 
um, I managed to pick up the firehouse for a very very good price and it's in absolutely mint condition so I was over the moon to get that um, the the firehouse playset was one of my holy grails um, if you want to call it that one of my white whales um, I've been after that for a long time so I was really happy to get the firehouse into the collection um, I also got uh, the, the four Ghostbusters as you can see here uh, very happy to have those. Um, I've got Ecto 2 just at the back there, um, which I picked up just as a as kind of an extra. But really, it was getting the core characters, the firehouse, and the uh, the kind of classic monsters that you can see here: the the Wolfman, Dracula, the zombie, the mummy, uh, Quasimodo, and of course Frankenstein's monster. And I've got the uh, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man and Slimer, of course. Uh, apologies for the lighting in this shot, I realise it's not very good, but uh, I wasn't really prepared to move all this stuff from my coffee table. Um, so yeah, that's that's the next kind of line that I was I was really, really happy to to get in 2023, was the real Ghostbusters line. Um, now if we just sort of travel to the back of the coffee table here, amongst the guitars and other uh, paraphernalia, there we've got a quick shot of the Starcom Shadow Bat vehicle. Um, I was also very happy to receive last year uh, some more squid head figures for my growing squid head army. Um, I do really like squid head, he's one of my favourite um, Star Wars figure uh, characters uh, from the Kenner line, really do like him. And so I've got, what is it, I think I've got a couple upstairs, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think I've got nine of them so far. So they are now competing with my Bib Fortuna army. I've only got to get another 91 and uh, and I will have equaled my Bib Fortuna army. Although having said that, I think I've actually got 102 Bib Fortunas because I've got a couple more somewhere else. Um, but that's just a quick look at my Bib Fortuna army. Um, this this was uh, acquired in 2022 20, and 2023, so it, it it doesn't really count for this video, I'm afraid. But just wanted to point out the uh, the growing Squidhead army, and I was very pleased to receive uh, two Squidheads as gifts from Retro Toy Guy Sai and Travels with Jason F. Um, so so that's pretty cool. Right, hard cut back to the sofa. Now another line that I collected quite a few of is the McFarlane DC Multiverse line. Uh, there's just a few of them here um, as an example. Um, I was really into this line, uh, well, still am in fact. Um, I'm quite selective about the characters that I buy, um, but nevertheless I do think it is a, a great line. It's, um, it's very affordable, um, the quality of the figures is good, um, the sculpts are excellent, and yeah, it's just... Um, just a line that I was a really big fan of in 2023. Um, probably the two figures that I, I enjoyed the most um, were the Hush versions of Batman and Superman, which you can see here. Absolutely great uh, figures. So yeah, the DC Multiverse line is, a, is another one that I was very keen to, to collect in 2023, and no doubt I will be getting some more in 2024, with any luck. Depends on um, which characters they, re they release, I suppose. But um, there we go, yeah, the DC Multiverse line. Another great line uh, for me in 2023. Uh, let's have a look and see what else I've got. Okay, now another line that I started collecting again uh, in 2023 was muscle figures. Uh, now I say collected again because I, I did have several of these uh, as a child. Um, I don't really know what happened to them. Um, but several months ago, um, I received a very, very kind and thoughtful gift from Dave over at Vintage Toy Rush. Now, he sent me a number of these muscle characters, and it really kind of reignited my, my passion for the line, so I started picking some more up. Um, I've got about 60 or so uh, now. Um, there were well over 200 figures in the line, um, and it's one of those lines that the more you collect, the, the more difficult it is to get the ones that you don't have. Um, obviously, it's very easy to start collecting them at the beginning because you don't have any of them, so you can just buy up um, bulk lots and, uh, and, and multiples uh, on eBay or whatever, um, and you're fairly safe. But the more you get, the harder it is to, to avoid getting doubles. Um, so, although I do have some doubles uh, in a separate location, these are all unique um, characters. And as I say, I have about 60 of them now. Um, so thank you, Dave, for reigniting my passion for muscle figures. I'm, I'm really into these. I hope to collect some more in 2024. Um, and in case any of you are wondering, yes, I do have the claw. Now this is one of the more sought after muscle figures, um, it can command quite a high price on the secondary market. I got this one for an absolute bargain, um, I think I paid £16 for this, including postage. Um, so yeah, I, I, I got very lucky with this guy, um, as this can 
can sort of fetch 30 or 40 pounds on the secondary market so yeah really happy to, to have this one in the collection as well um it's just popping back in the in the bag and then we'll um and we'll see what else i've got okay now my black series collecting really did slow down in 2023 there weren't that many characters um that i either needed to still get um, or that interested me um, but there were a few that sort of stood out as being particularly good characters uh, that I picked up last year now obviously some of these are slightly older figures um, but I, these are the ones that I picked up during during last year um, the first one being uh, Saw Guerrera uh, this deluxe figure really nice figure really happy to have him uh, I also picked up a Bodhi Rook uh, again a really nice figure very cool as you can see I, I have um i have some of these in display cases already so i apologize for the glare um i don't really want to start mucking about and taking these out of their their cases now because it's just too much of a faff if i'm honest but but there we go there's um there's bodhi rook uh, also picked up cad bane uh from uh from the clone wars or based on his appearance in the clone wars um with his massive hat um, I do like Cad Bane as a character. I really like his his character design. The fact that he looks like a sort of a, an old west gun gunslinger. Um, I think he looks really cool. Um, so very happy to have him. Uh, also picked up Aura Singh, uh, which is an interesting looking character. Um, pretty cool. Again, sorry for the glare, um, but she's she comes with lots of accessories and uh, and yeah, a very a very cool very cool looking character i believe um the the sniper rifle that she comes with this massive long gun i think that to my, to my knowledge that's the longest gun in the black series line um a little bit of trivia for you there um so there we go there's aura singh um, and i also of course um, you may have seen these on the channel very recently uh, i picked up uh, a few weeks ago uh, sabine wren and Hera Sindula, um, both really nice figures, great face sculpts, um, very, very screen accurate face sculpts. So I was very happy to get to get these guys. Um, so yeah, there's just a few of the Black Series figures that I that I picked up. Um, we'll stick with the Star Wars theme and I'll show you some TVC figures that I've uh, also got last year. So the vintage collection is one line that I don't collect every figure of um, because there are far too many uh, and I kind of came late to the line. So it's not really one that I'm going to going to pursue um, extensively. However, there are a number of characters that I really do like um, that, I, that I've uh, picked up uh, last year. Um, the first one, let's bring in here. And this was actually a gift from Reading Movies. Um, and it's Bib Fortuna. Um, as you may have seen earlier on in the video, I do quite uh, like Bib Fortuna. And and here is Bib Fortuna. So that's, um, that's the first TVC figure. Um, that I'm going to show you today. Uh, next up, we've got a range trooper. Now, I thought this was a really interesting looking character um, in in Solo, a Star Wars story. I um, really like the character design and I thought the TVC figure looked really good. Um, probably as good, if not better, than the Black Series version. Um, although the Black Series version did have soft goods, um, this one, I think, just looks absolutely fantastic. So was happy to pick pick a couple of those up as well. Uh, next up, uh, we've got Lando in Skiffguard disguise and Leia Boosh. Um, again, two of my favourite characters from Return of the Jedi. So I was happy to pick these up in the vintage collection. They are fantastic figures. Um, the, the Leia figure is basically a repack of the 3.75 uh, Black Series uh, figure. Uh, but nevertheless, it, it does make a, an awesome uh, display piece uh, along with Lando here with his uh, skiff guard disguise very pleased to have these guys in the in the collection back to solo a star wars story and i got um a enfys nest figure uh, I, I really do like the character design of of, of this um character uh, i'll just keep saying the word character and hope i get away with it um, but there we go there's uh, there's enfys nest another cool figure uh, and finally for today uh, i'd just like to show again um, the General Hera Sindula figure from Ahsoka, uh, the Ahsoka TV series. Uh, this is a fantastic figure. I, I showed this on the channel um, last week, I believe it was, but um, I think it's worth just showing again. Um, she's a fantastic figure. The, the face sculpt is brilliant um, and possibly even better than the Black Series version. Um, so I, I really, really like this. And I, and I think the, the purple uh, sort of uh, name pill and the purple background um, to the figure really makes it stand out uh, and it's yeah just a fantastic hardback and a fantastic figure so 
there are some of the TVC figures that I picked up uh, last year. Uh, let's see what else we've got on the video. Okay, we are back off of the sofa uh, just to have a quick look at my Diamond Select Ghostbusters figures that I uh, picked up throughout the year. Uh, and yes, I do have two slimed Peter Venkmans. Uh, and also a cheeky little My Little Pony up the top there uh, that was gifted to me by uh, Travels with Jason F. Um, but uh, yeah, the, these Ghostbusters figures I was really happy to get hold of. Um, I may, may pick up a few more in the future, but um, for now um, I'm quite happy with these. Um, I got the full set of um, marshmallow covered Ghostbusters. Uh, although for some reason Egon comes in different packaging to, to the other three, um, which is a bit peculiar. I'm not sure why that should be the case, but Anyway, yeah, just a quick look at the, um, the Diamond Select Ghostbusters figures. I haven't showed these on the channel yet, um, but I'll probably feature them in a video at some point in the not too distant future. Um, so yeah, there we go. Uh, let's pop back to the sofa and see what, what else we've got. Okay, here we are back at the sofa. Now, the uh, last item that I'm gonna show you today um, is possibly the best toy bargain I have ever found. Um, now you would have seen this on the channel uh, before, but I think it's worth showing again. I managed to pick up this, which is the Super 7 Club Grey Skull, uh, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, Teela figure. Now what made this um, such, a, such an awesome uh, find for last year was the price. Now um, these are very difficult to come by on eBay. They don't come up very often, and when they do, they're normally well over £100. Now, I was in a local toy shop with Reading Movies uh, last year, and I spotted this on the top shelf, and I took it down just to have a look at, um, just to see how much they were asking for it, and I was fairly sure they were gonna be asking at least 80 or 90 pounds for it. Uh, and I picked it up, and I looked at the bottom, and I saw this price. And I couldn't get out of the shop fast enough once I'd bought this. Um, it's possibly the, the easiest purchase I've made all year. Um, I bought it so quickly my feet didn't touch the ground and reading movies and I fled the shop um, before anyone could stop us um, because this is, is really a, an absolute steal for this figure. Um, I was convinced that someone was going to put their hand on my shoulder and say I'm, I'm sorry sir but that price ticket should have said 120 not 20. Um, so yeah, very happy to have this figure. Um, and also very happy with the position that it's in in the package. Um, because I don't open my figures uh, generally, and I, I keep them sealed, um, I was very happy that this figure, um, the, the, that Teela's head was sort of turned and had a bit of a bit of an attitude to it like this, rather than staring straight ahead. Um, as an in-box collector, that made me very happy indeed. Um, if you look very carefully, just into the top left, you can see Ewok has left one of her furs up here for you to see. So there is a small portion of my cat Ewok. Let's um, let's wipe that off. It's a bit dusty. I have been keeping this in a in a display case, but it was a, a little bit um, dusty when I when I bought it. To be honest, um, perhaps I should clean it. Anyway, there we go. There was um, there was probably my best buy of 2023. Um, now, of course, there were several other items that came into the Monkey Boy Nest throughout the year, but today I've just shown you sort of my highlights of the year. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let's let's look forward to 2024 and hope that we get lots of other cool items into the collection. But um, that's about it for today's video. So if you did enjoy it, please do give it a thumbs up and um, and share it with any other rusty hinges you may know. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and do leave me a comment and let me know what you thought of some of these items that I showed you today. Um, but yeah, that's about it for today. So I'm going to make like a shepherd and get the flock out of here. See you later. Bye.